ants. We've seen research, and there's research going back clear to the 30s where people were studying education and uh, recidivism. The higher that education level is, the more likely you're going to be successful and not come back. Education breaking the cycle of failure that often leads individuals into the prison system. Uh, there is a statistic with the uh, California Department of Corrections that indicates that 70 percent of them have had financial issues, if not financial crime. ISCI offering financial literacy courses as a cornerstone of the program with classes aimed at equipping inmates with the skills to navigate the complexities of personal finance. We tell them as you practice in here, so shall you play on the outside. These classes aren't just about numbers, they're about rebuilding lives. And 27-year-old inmate Nikki is taking advantage of that opportunity. They have classes like to plan your finances and plan for retirement and things that you don't really think about while you're in here. It's just not a just not a day to day task that you really think about. From basic life skills to advanced investing, the curriculum caters to a diverse range of backgrounds and experiences. I think we're going to see in the course of the next five to 10 years that we're going to try really hard to bring more normalcy into our, our correctional world. The goal? to foster success both inside and outside these walls. Get started now and take advantage of that time so that you'll have more funds at the end of the road. The classrooms reminded me a lot of a high school where inmates who were students in these halls were having open dialogue with each other and their teachers. Reporting from the Idaho State Correctional Institution, I'm your South Boise neighborhood reporter, Riley Shoemaker for Idaho News 6.